We are reading Gurudev's The Beauty of the Arulam. And page 68. So reading is Andaka, our Andaka. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Part 2 Sadhu Maharaja's teachings about Vaishnavas. <clears throat> to be a Vaishnava means that we have to feel pure at heart. And when will this be revealed to us? When we fix ourselves on our spiritual master. Then we like to serve all Vaishnavas. And when we will serve and respect the Vaishnavas, then Prema will arise. So, uh, it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. So a few days ago, so we went to meet one Baba in Radha Kunda, Mahanidi Madana Gopal Baba. So Baba also says same thing. He says three things are very important. Vaishnava should do three things. We love other living entity. We serve other living entities. We pay respect to other living entities. This other living entity means other devotee, what other person we may say. These three things love, serve, and respect. So Gurudev also says same thing. So I think all Baba Nashika uh, Vaishnava practicing these two or three things, that's very interesting. So if we want to become, try to be Vaishnava, we, we try also, we try to follow love, and sub and respect. This recent Mahanidhi, Madana Gopal Baba, said to us. Mm -hmm. So now we have a verse from Vimala Vaishnava book. Antare Bahire Sama Vyavahara Amani Manada Habo Krishna Sankirtane, Shri Krishna Smarane, Satata Majiarabo. With a heart free from duplicity, my outer behavior will correspond to my inner feelings and thoughts. Seeing myself as completely insignificant, 
I will give all respects to others seeking no honor in return. Always dancing and singing the holy names. I will remain constantly absorbed in remembering Shri Krishna's beautiful pastimes. And Sadhu Maharaj continues. That is not working externally. It's working from within oneself. We have to be more merciful, not only to the Vaishnavas, but to all others, to every living entity. Everyone we have to respect. We have to respect others without expecting honor in return. Take dancing for the Lord in madness as an example. Why should we dance? Certainly not to make a show for others. Dancing means your heart starts moving and you cannot sit still. You then want to go within the name and the name gives you such good feelings from inside. You forget your external consciousness. If you are in bodily consciousness, it's difficult to dance. It is an endeavor of the senses and not an anubhava from within, a natural reaction to an inner realization. So, Guru Dev is very very kindly described our inner feeling express and then dancing. So a few days ago, uh, Satchinandana, Satchinandana Ji, here Munger Raji Mande, he was teaching, showing us little Muridanga. He's saying, from inside we have to dance. We have to feel like a flow. Inside we have to go flow. Then outside Muridanga is also coming. Uh, he explained like this. Mm. So here say, sometimes we say, uh, Dupristi. Today, this morning class, uh, Siddhanta Maharaj said, Dupristi means two-faced. The Christi means two face. Okay, for you this face, for you different face. So means inside, outside, different face. This is the Christi. 
。グルデーバーズ。シェイン。ウィセーバーバー。なんか、ケイシャバーバーバー。おわ、えの、サンバーバージ。そう、グルデーブズ。I'm, we, we are asking, Guru Dev, what do, what do you mean, Baba? Sometimes we heard, Baba is grandfather. <coughs> But the Guru Dev explanation not t h a t Baba means child.、Mm. So child is, you know, someone who ラデラデカビジ、sorry to interrupt all.、Uh, could you translate now in Spanish? Is this working nicely? Try to speak now. Okay, now Spanish translation is going on on Spanish channel. Very good. ジャイラデ、Thank you, カビ。So again, Baba means child. <laughs> So, child means very simple. Whatever inside thinking and then outside also express. But sometimes our, we are from child, we are like a child behavior. But、uh, we grown up, sometimes we using two face, sometimes three face. This is not a Vaishnava way. Guru Dev said, if we want to realize, then we become like a childish. So here Guru Dev mentioned. So like a dancing also, if we are bodily consciousness, we have so much anxiety. Or if we are thinking all problems, then we cannot dance. But if we concentrate holy name, then automatically some pleasure coming, then we start dancing. Like、uh, we are seeing very young people naturally they dance if singing kirtan, a r o t i c time also. So this is.、Hmm? Okay. Oh, maybe it's. Just a moment, just a moment, let me check. Ah, your, your mic is off. Maybe off. Ah, now it's off. No, okay. But、uh, now I finish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no.、Okay. it can be, it, it can be、uh, through my mic, they have, okay, okay. but not. Yeah, so, no, sorry, this mic is not、uh, working properly. So,、mm -hmm. I'm saying, <coughs> Baba means child. So, child is only one face. Inner thinking, outside expression is the same. So, this is Baba. To realize Radha Mohan, we need like childish simplicity. So, we want to learn from child. So, that's it. You want to say something?、Mm. We can continue. <clears throat> hmm. Here, you will think what will others see? What will they think?
And when you stop thinking like this and don't look at the others, then you will forget about them. You see yourself. You see the name. And you become mad in the rhythm. What do they do in nightclubs? They also do this. But at that time they have to drink to forget themselves. People take so much alcohol. They forget and then they start dancing. But with this spiritual name, you don't need to forget about any external things. Automatically you forget. This is the wine which they drink in the nightclub and what we do is divine. So Guru Dev sometimes say materialistic, materialistic person drink wine and spiritual person drink divine and Dashka Vaishnava they drink honey wine. <laughs> So, different person has different drinking. <laughs> if, the th if the people think, if someone thinks, I am a Vaishnava and others are hopeless, I'm senior, I'm chanting 16 rounds, then what will happen? Taste will never come, prema will never arise within the heart and you will become dry. How will taste for the holy name come? When you respect Vaishnavas and by serving the Vaishnavas which are most dear to Shri Krishna. There are three important things. Nama Ruchi, Jivadaya, and Vaishnava Seva. First, you are kind and you give to this Jiva. Not that I am serving and distributing some chapatis. That kind of donation develops your false ego 
that you are doing something. Then next you think about putting your name and fame first. Because you are doing this. This is not Jiva Daya. This is false ego Daya. <laughs> <laughs> Jivadaya means to know yourself and live in this consciousness. And seeing all creations of Krishna and find out from your perspective what others need from you without anyone telling you. That means service. No one will tell you do this. But you have to find it out anyway. How to do it? Wow. How to serve? Wow. This is a good day was about this very Amazing. This I was a little shocked. Service means nobody will tell you. So we are thinking service means somebody tell me, tell us. Then we'll do. Oh, please clean this room. Oh, please, please, you know, bring this one to this temple room. Oh, this is I'm doing seba. Service. But the Gurudev say, without nobody saying, but voluntarily we do <coughs> something to, 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 to help others. That is real seva, their service. Because manjari, actually kinkari, service means this Ananda Das Baba's words. Service means to know the other's heart. So what others want to do, we try to do. Then others will please. That is Seba. Seba is not like I want to do. Therefore I do. It's not real Seba. So service means to know the, the, to know the other's heart who want to serve. So you want, if you want to serve Guru Dev means we have to know Guru Dev's heart. What he want to us. So means if we know Guru Dev's heart, that person can do nice seva. But if we don't know Guru Dev's feeling, Guru Dev's heart, then it's not easy to serve Guru Dev. Also, this Guru, uh, this Guru Dev used to say these three things. I try to explain a little bit. Nama Ruchi. Ruchi means taste. Nama means name. Nama means holy name of the Lord, especially Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So if we are very humble state of mind, like Tunadapi, Sunichena, Taroriba, Sahishununa, Amanida Manadena, Kirutaniya Sadahari. So we went to uh, Mahanidhi Manana Gopal Baba. He all sang, chanting means Tonadapi bus. Tonadapi means we have to tolerate like tree. We have to think we are lower than 
grass on the street. And we have to pay obeisance to others and all other living entities. Then Namaduchi, taste is coming. Also Jiba Daya. Jiba means living entities. Daya means mercy. Actually, Daya means Radha's name. One of the name of Radharani is Daya. And because Radhana is very merciful. Who is most merciful? This is Radharani. So, means merciful to other living entity. Then, people thinking, not for me? Yes. We have to be kind to myself, ourselves. I was, <clears throat> a few days ago, I was just thinking. So, like, uh, sometimes people, people very kindly want to, you know, after eating, somebody want to, to wash my plate. But I said, no, 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 thank you. I want to wash my, my, my plate. I was f now feeling washing my plate, which we took, that is also jibedaya. Or say, we clean our clothes, or clean the room, our room, also mm. one interpretation, that's also jibedaya. Yeah. <laughs> because, you know, we are helping our soul also. So, you know, like I say, we want to clean Guru Dev's room. Sometimes we want to wash Guru Dev's plate. Also, this is Jibedaya, this Seba. If we do ourselves also another kind of Jibedaya. Also, sometimes, you know, Say, we try to kind others. But sometimes, sometimes we have tendency, oh, I am such a fallen soul. I'm so, so bad person. What, what, who am I? Sometimes criticize ourselves or hurt ourselves. But I think this is not Jibadaya. We sh also should forgive myself, ourselves. Then we can forgive others. <clears throat> I was realizing before I cannot forgive myself. Then mm. tendency to cannot <laughs> forgive others. Mm. Why you do this? Why do that? But uh, after some time, I was thinking, oh, actually, I have to also be kind to myself also. Mm. Because, you know, we are conditioned, we have tendency to make mistake. Any human being make, you know, mistake. So maybe I should forgive myself and also very cautious next time try to not mis make mistake. We cannot change past. Who can change past? Guru Dev used to say, if you think all past, if you regret the past, then you are like ghost. Spiritual life means living now. This is good day of the teaching. Living now. Past we cannot change, but now we may change. So that is Guru Dev's word. This is interesting. This, this is Jibedaya. And also Vaishnava Seva. Why Vaish? Actually, I'm feeling to do bhakti, most important item is this Vaishnava Seva. Actually, if we do Vaishnava Seva, then automatically mass is flowing unto us. 
And Vaishnava Seva including also Guru Seva also. Sadhu Seva. Because why mass is coming? <clears throat> Because Vaishnava, Sadhu Guru Vaishnava is very dear, dear to the Lord. So, sometimes Lord thinking, our Ishtadeva thinking, oh, this devotee very nice, I want to serve. But sometimes Lord cannot serve each devotee. Then some devotee serve Vaishnava. Then Lord thinking, oh, this, this devotee serving this Vaishnava, he is very good, which I cannot do, he is doing. I should give mercy upon him. Like say, like, like for Guru Dev, so, so if you think you are Guru Dev, so Guru Dev was appreciating, oh, this devotee is so nice, he's serving me very nicely, but I cannot serve this devotee. Hmm. So if, if then other devotee serve that devotee, Then Guru Dev thinks, oh, this devotee is serving this devotee. Oh, this bread is so great. I should give mercy upon him. Say, if you have children, mm. Mm. sometimes children have a problem. The father, mother cannot do. That situation, other people helping child, children. Then, how mother Father think, oh, this person help me, my child, my children, which I cannot do. So I should pay something, I should reward something to this person. This is natural. So our Ishtade, our Lord also thinking like this. Therefore it is said, if someone ask, some devotee ask something, It's better to do. Like, uh, people do, especially here, Brindaban or some, some holy place. Or not holy place even. Some devotee, some sadhu visiting each house. For the benefit of householder. So they do madukari. Sometimes say householder ask, what do you want? What can I do for you? Then if something say, oh, I need this, then householder better to do whatever sadhu say. Then sadhu's mass is coming. This is a kind of Vedic Indian culture. So before I told also, but I shocked, I read Chaitanya Bhagavat. One sadhu came to Hadai Pandit, Nityananda's father's house. Then Nityananda's father, Hadai Pandit said, Oh sadhu, what can I do for you? Whatever you know, you need, I try to provide you. So any food you need? No. <laughs> Any clothes you need? No. What do you need? Oh my God. Can I ask one thing? I don't anything, but one thing I want. And then Hadai Pandi say, Father of Nita, I say, what? What do you want? Oh, I, this is your son, Nita. I need servant like him. Please give me your son. Then Hadai Pandit was shocked because only, <laughs> only son. But the Sadhu say, and he's asking, what can I do for you? Brother. Then only one thing he want. Then Hadai Pandit is crying, give to Nitai to this Sadhu. I was shocked. This is actually, this is a basic culture. Of course, you know, We may not follow, but, uh, but, uh, you know. It may but, not uh, happen to us. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> My God. 
one story. I have one friend in Brindaban. And then Gurudev said to my friend, who is disciple of the Gurudev, give me your building. I need your building. And then that devotee, oh Gurudev, you need my building. Yes, Gurudev, I give you. Other devotee who's staying at this building, this ashram, shocked. Because, you know, he might get out this from this building. He gave to this building, my, my friend. Then Gurudev was, Gurudev was, you know, I don't know in India, maybe some paper, mm. maybe some paper, you know, which is my building, you know, my, my land, my building. I don't know the system, but in Japan we have some paper, or oh, kind of registered paper. I think India may have also. Mm. So he gave to this paper to Gurudev. The other devotee was shocked. Then Gurudev was maybe keeping a few months. Then Gurudev again came to this, this disciple. Now you pass my test. I don't need this paper. You take it. I don't need your building. I'm just testing you. <coughs> so, and then Guru say, you say, whatever I come this material, you, you should come with me. He told his disciple. So, we have to think what kind of disciple we are. We can, we can give up everything to the Guru Dev. So this is interesting, sorry, this is a little bit debating, but uh, this Namaruchi, Jibedaya, and Vaishnava Seva. These three things, Gurudev is always stressing. And also, if these three things we follow, then we may attain quickly the desired result. That's my feeling. <laughs> Rade 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 uh, Jayananda Prabhu has very melting explanation of Jiva Doya. I, I would uh, like to ask one question. Mm -hmm. um, how you deal, how Vaishnava, uh, how we uh, Rupanuga Vaishnava deal with the sentiment, uh, okay, Jiva Doya. But when uh, when the Vaishnava see some injustice in the world or killing of animals, um, uh, how to deal with with this? To not be impersonal in what is going on around us. In the same time, to cultivate nicely uh, Jiva Doya. How is possible to transcend this? I know that sometimes Kesha Baba said to um, advance in the spiritual life one should see and not see here and not here so just going by his uh, path of the revel uh, realization spiritual so what is the how to deal with it this 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 line of between to be impersonal to feel jiva doya in the same time to not have possibility to do something and the same to keep inside this injustice. So this is my question. Thank you, Jananda. <laughs> this is very difficult to say. But you know, so Vaishnama quality is paraduka duki. Someone who some someone or some living entity is suffering, he's thinking by himself. Someone suffering, he also cry for them, try to help. That is Vaishnava quality. But same times, we have capacity, we have ability. Someone, someone who has big ability, we can help big, bigger scale. 
Someone who has a small, small ability, then we can serve small way. So, according to our capacity, our ability, we try to serve. That is my feeling. Like Ramesh Baba, you know, Barishane. Ramesh Baba is very kind because many cow is, is killing. So he protect the cow. And I think at first, you know, small scale, but now I don't know how many. 20,000, 50,000 cow he's, he's protecting and feeding. Because he's a great personality, he has great compassion, great power. I heard, you know, some very famous news, you know, kind of, I don't know, newspaper or some magazine, I don't know. Some, some person came. How it is possible to take care, you know, many thousand cow. Also, he's maintained many thousand devotees. How do, how you do deal money? Materialistic person cannot understand, but Radharan is Kripa. Automatically, money is coming. So, so maybe this is not to answer, but, uh, you know, my feeling is, you know, at first we try to help near, nearby. Like our family, or, you know, very nearest person, then somehow could more can help. This is, I think, according to our ability, we try to help. That is, you know, so I, this is difficult to answer for me, like, you know, very foreign soul, but my feeling is according to our ability, you know, starting nearest person, then slowly, slowly go, you know, bigger scale. That is my feeling. Thank you, Jalanda. Whoa. Welcome. Welcome. I just listen. Rade, Rade, Jalanda. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. To that happy. point, I can maybe add something from the Christianity. Please. Uh, in this world, we are more or less in a material consciousness, but we have examples from those who are, even if they were in this world, they uh, was actually in the spiritual world. With, uh, with their consciousness and with the mind. When Jesus was fixed on the cruise, on the, when he was crucified on the cross, that was very painful and it was a big cruel. But then, what did he say then? He said loudly, others could hear this, please, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Wow. And this only a person can say when he is not a part of this material world, when he is identified with his soul and his spiritual body. And uh, this is my number one example for one who is not in this world. And so we are identified as, uh, for example, as a, an, as a part of a nation, Germany, Ukraine, Russia. And because of this identification, <laughs> India, yes. But uh, because of this identification, we, we think we are part of something. And maybe we have to fight for something. But this is really a deep illusion. And we can go against this illusion only by realize our real self. 
who we really are. And in this way, we can see all others as a part of the material world, this behave, but in the back, when we see their real position, if we understand our own position, we can um, minimum understand that they are a spiritual soul. That is also true. Yeah. No? And in our case, we can say we are a manjari. We are not only on this first step as a spiritual soul, but we are feel like a manjari. And then we can come to the point like Jesus. He was really identified as a, fa as a son of the father, of his father. And so we can say, okay, all what happened, even with our body, happened because of the material world and the three gunas. But actually, we are really independent from this. Even we have the pain, we feel the pain in the body because we use this body for a time. But we are not identified with this body. We feel the pain, but we know, okay, everything happened because of the gunas, of the uh, elements of the material world. But we are not part of this. So we can forgive all others, jivas, because they don't know what they are doing. Very this. good, very, yeah, very beautiful point. Mm. Thank you. And can I say also, what you, you talk more, Goran? No, 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 no. I think this is clear, no? So, and Gurudev say, at first you have to realize it. If, if we are fix our in Stai Baba, then you can help others. True. Actually, according to our realization, we can, it is up to our realization, we, we can help people or not. True. This is Gurudev's word, you know, it is not my word. What is meaning, also, uh, Dhananda? Uh, when when Bhakti Vinod Thakur said Chief Jago, and uh, this is meaning that this world is actually sleeping from the view of a spiritual soul, mm -hmm. from a realized spiritual soul. Everybody is sleeping in, in the identification of the matter, of the material. Mm -hmm. And our the mercy of the, not our, the mercy of the awakened soul, of the fixed soul in uh, Stai Bab is to help others to wake up. This is meaning yes. of Jeev Chago. Yes, <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> so, we, you know, a few days ago, we went to see Binoda Baba's place. Ah. With Hong Kong devotee and other devotees, we have a wow. twenty-six devotee. We went. Wow! So <clears throat> we we went in the time, and then and then servants said, "Please wait fifteen minutes." Mm. But at that time, many cars were there, many mm. Indians standing in you know, in front, in like uh, in near the garden. So anyway, so Ram, uh, Binoda Baba appear after some times, and uh, he gave us darshan and gave mm. us mercy. Mm. Then, then I'm asking him, no, asking servant, Binoda Baba go to Parikiram or not? I'm asking because if he do, we also we want to follow some some to some you know sometimes. But servant said no. Why? I'm asking. Because very political person, very big person, I think Uttar Pradesh, some educational department, some top or something, very big person, visiting to see 
uh, Binod Baba. So, and then we just have darshan, we go to see the Sriji temple, and then we go back. And then I explain to, you know, Sadhu Maharaj, our Guru Dev. Yeah, Binod Baba today, he did not go to Parikiram. And because very big political person visiting him. Then Guru Dev said, Hey Jayananda, if you realized many big person would come to you, come to us. Because everybody need help. Even political person, they don't know what to do. Only the self-realized person could guide them. So like a Guru Dev, like a Guru Dev could guide anybody. Big person or small person, whoever. That is like a Prabhupada could guide everybody. So this is a quality of sadhu. This quality of someone who is self-realized. So Guru Dev told us, you know, this kind of story. We share Guru Dev and then Guru Dev say, so now Binod Baba, it seems, you know, many person to see Binod Baba because many person recognize Binod Baba and uh, he could help others. Our Guru Dev also. So this is, Guru Dev want us to fix our Stai Baba. And uh, Guru, Guru Dev want us to realize. Because if we realize, we could help others. So to self, to self realize, we need the mercy of Vaishnava, we need the mercy of Holy Dharma, we, especially we need the mercy of Guru Dev and Rashka Vaishnavas. Guru Dev is always stressing, most important thing to see the sadhu and ask and help. So I want to share you. So we went to see Mahanidhi Madana Gopal Baba and I explained what he talk, told us, and you know, what is our experience. Why devotees enlivened? I told Guru Dev, and then Guru Dev said, "See more, because you have to take advantage to 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 hear to his association, like uh, Radha Govindas Baj Maharaj send Sadhu Maharaj to to Pavupada to see Pavupada." Usually, Babaji does not send persons, you know, to others, especially someone who is, you know, preaching and, uh, you know, but uh, Radha Gomidas Bhaja was self-realizing. He said to Pabu, he said to Sadhmaraj, Pabupada is like a Nityananda. He's, he's empowered by Nityananda. He should go to see Pabupada and go to blessing. So Sadhu Maharaj also told us, see Sadhu and get blessing, get his mercy. And that is Sadhu Maharaj is teaching. So, so I humbly share with you. So we need the mercy. We need the mercy of Guru Dev. We need the mercy of all other Vaishnavas, especially Rashka Vaishnava. That is Guru Dev's you know, is always seeing even Guru Dev beg the mercy upon other Vaishnavas, even disciple. I shocked, you know. Oh, I need your mercy. Without your mercy, you know, like, like, Guru Dev is so humble, you know. So we have to learn his mood, his humbleness. That I'm feeling now. Thank you so much, Anand. Thank you, Goranga Sundara. So, the solution of every problem is to be fixed in our spiritual Swarupa position. And to attain this, we need the help of the Vaishnava. 
Yes. That is good. They want us to do. Fix yourself. So I try to fix myself also. <laughs> and I need your mercy, honestly. So please come and help me. Help us. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, thank you so much. <clears throat> we will go a few sentences back and then proceed. Service means no one will tell you do this. You have to find it out anyway, how to do it, how to serve. If you are not interested in this way of understanding, how will you become qualified to enter the service of Krishna? No one there, there, no one there, will say anything to you. You alone have to understand what to do. Maybe better to say you yourself have to understand what to do. If Krishna looks in this direction with a certain glance, you have to understand what he is looking for. You have to feel it. If you have no connection, you cannot feel. Maybe Krishna is looking for water or for betel nuts or his eyes are looking for Radhika. So you have to be ready all the time. We should start to develop this mood in all circumstances in this material world. Taking care of Vaishnavas. Taking care of others. This is the way of service in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan I see the Vaishnavas. They are so much into bhajan. I remember we once went together to one Vaishnava. It was so nice. Krishna Chandra asked about his feelings because this special Vaishnava is a devotee in the Nimbarka lineage and he sings Radhe Krishna Radhe Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Radhe Radhe. Shyam Shyam, Radhe Radhe. This is his mantra. Whole day he is chanting non stop. So Krishna Chandra asked, Maharaj, you are chanting your mantra, I am chanting the Maha mantra. Can I reach the place when you are where you are going? Mm. 
Vaishnava said, What you are doing, keep it. You don't need to change anything. Change is not going to help you. If you will fix yourself on what you are doing, you will reach the goal. We never fix ourselves on something. We want to change. In material life, you can change and really we have to practice in our material life also not to change. Why? To improve our spiritual life and to develop inner peace. Fix your material life so that you will be in a state of inner peace and you will move on in your spiritual life as well. So, so I want to share one thing which Mahanidhi Swami said to us. So he's saying, before chanting mantra, he said, we should do Sankarpa. Sankarpa means some bow. Bow means, so, where we want to go? What is your goal? That we should fix it. And then chanting. So, each person may goal is made different. Some person may have Sakyarasa or Dasharasa. Some may have Basarasa. Some may want to become Gopi or Saki or Manjari. Well, where we want to go, some devotee may want to go to Baikunta, some person may want to go to Dwaraka, or some person want to enter Braja, some person want to Nikunja, Seba. So, we want to, we, we have to fix ourselves. What is our goal? Where do we, do I want to go? This is Mahani Swami say, we have to fix our goal. And uh, what is our goal? And also fix it. This also his, his teaching. That's also, our Gurudev also same thing, fix ourselves. And also, this Gurudev's word, sometimes Gurudev asking us, so what is your family? How are you? What is your job? Your family member is all right? He's asking. And sometimes the devotee say, yeah, I have problem this job. I have problem this family members with family members. Then Gurudev want to fix problem, solve this problem. Then why that? Because Gurudev want to, has to balance. 
Balance means we need inner peace. If outside means our family life, our material life, like job, about money, if we have some problem, then our mind, our heart cannot be peaceful. Then how can I, can we meditate? To, to do meditation, we need peaceful mind. To become peaceful mind, we need balance our life. So, if material life is not balanced, then we cannot practice spiritual life properly. That is Guru Dev teaching. So, therefore, we need money, we need job, we need family member. So, Guru Dev suggested, oh, you should marry sometimes. Younger devotee or even older devotee sometimes, oh, you should marry. Then do happy life. And then peaceful, peacefully do bhajan. So this is Guru Dev's teaching is like the same. Oh, sorry. <coughs> That's, I'm, we are learning from Guru Dev. Try to learn. Hmm. Someone else would, would like to sorry, share? Sorry, I'm only talking, so please share <laughs> and please uh, help us. His experience, her experience. I don't know who is there. What question? Okay, question? Yeah. Okay, if question, question has, also, yeah. so welcome, always welcome. もしなんか質問があれば。いや、いいんですよ。何でも。何でもいいんです、別に。ここはもう、あの、いろんな人がいるんで、経験し、積んでる人もいるし、積んでない人もいるし、初心の人もいるんで。うん。もし、お願いできれば。<笑> Spirit home. Ah, ha. Oh, this is a very deep question. Just, just a moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. You need to hear. Yeah. yeah just repeat. Yeah. Yes. Um, this is my first time to be here, and I'm not sure this is a direct question, but I would like to know more about spirit form. Wow. Oh my god, this is, <laughs> wow, this is, this is question is very deep. And one sense, like, uh, uh, very essence of question. So, we are thinking, I am this material body. We are this material body. So, in this bodily consciousness, all problem is coming. Because if we think ourself is our body, this my body, and then we start thinking anything belong to this body is mine. My wife, my husband, my children, my money, my house, my car, my job, my academic record, etc. But uh, this body is temporary. After maybe hundred years, most of person, most of ourselves passed away. So, real sense, real aim of life, we should know 
ourselves, who am I? This is a question, first question should we ask. Then, Veda say, we are spirit soul. Bhagavad Gita say, we are spirit soul. We are part and parcel of the whole, super soul or God. That is the first understanding. We are spirit soul. So then, next question is, so we understand we are part and person of God or super soul. We say, we say Krishna. Then what kind of relationship we, we have? Because, because to know our body, we have to know our relationship of the Lord. So only spirit soul is not enough. So we have to know what kind of relationship we have with Lord. We would like to have with Lord. Then that thing is fixed. Then how to realize this body, this spiritual body. And to know we are spirit soul, to know the relationship with the Lord. So we need Guru. Guru means someone who teaches us, realizes us to, to these things. So, this question is a very important question. But by ourselves, it is difficult to know, difficult to search it. So, we, we have to approach Someone who knows. So by the mercy of the Lord, by the mercy of Guru Dev, we may understand slowly, slowly. And then Guru Dev show us how to practice to realize our spiritual body. And then goal is to establish this relationship and uh, in uh, in loving relationship that we say like a prema so this very good question actually our aim of life is to know ourselves who am i what kind of relationship we should have with the lord and the how to practice to establish this relationship with the Lord. This, this question only could answer someone who has, someone who is realized. Or this Vedic literature, someone who learning this parampara, this spirit succession from Krishna. That person help you. But uh, many religion is, say, ritualistic religion, material religion. Real religion, actually we don't say religion, we say dharma. Real dharma is sanatana dharma. Eternal relationship. 
So this relationship is actually, we also, we are practicing to realize it. So if you want to know real yourself, then please join, join us and hear. Then it, it help you. <laughs> So very deep question. <laughs> Amazing. So I think she has so much sanskara. <laughs> First time. Huh? First time asking this question. As far as I know, nobody asks question like her. Never. I met many person, maybe thousand person, but uh, only one person, first time he ask, asking me like this question. It's very rare. Thank you very much. So is there another question or another comment, another sharing? Mm -hmm. So Radha Chana, you want to say something? No? Okay. He's translating. Okay. Mm -hmm. As soon... Oops, sorry. No, okay. As soon as people change, they start suffering. They create difficulties in their life by changing. And they start again from A, B, See, then again they change, again they start from A, they never reach Z, only A, B, C, and again A, B, C. Krishna Chandra asked four or five times to see if the Nimbarka Vaishnava changed his idea or something. But he didn't. He repeated, just fix yourself. You don't need to change anything and you will reach your goal. So I want to share a little bit. I change company because I have changed job many times. And then whenever changes, it takes some time to know the person, new job, the person, job. It takes at least six months. So then again, if we change job, again we start again to know job, to, to, to know the, you know, co-workers and both. So it's, it's hard time to know each, each time. Some devotee after Guru Dev passing away, change Guru. And sometimes difficult to, again, we have to make relationship with Guru. So I've seen many got my God brothers changing Guru, go to this place, that place. Because why? Because 
he did not establish relationship with Ishtadeva. Therefore, changing guru, changing place, changing ashram. But if say, fix yourself, if, if we establish relationship with our Ishtadeva, we don't need to go any other place. So Ishtadeva means very cherishable, loving my Lord, my sweet Lord. Mm. This is Ishtadeva. So I want to go that place where my, my Lord is there. Mm. This is Ishtadeva. So then we don't need to change. Guru Dev also, he did not change Guru. He did not change, uh, tempo. Because he already established the relationship with Ishta Deva. I also, my personal experience after, you know, Gora Gominasai Maharaj left. I go, I have to think, oh, I have to go to another guru. Go to Narayan Maharaj. Oh, Narayan Maharaj left his body. Oh, I should to think another guru, another, you know, another Shiksha guru. But, but uh, I feel now I don't need to go anywhere else. Because I know God, I know my Ishtadeva, and fix, then we don't need to go anywhere. So therefore, Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj say, fix ourselves. One relationship, one Ishtadeva. Then know our real spiritual body. And also our Guru, Guru Dev, Guru, Guru Manjari. Then bus finished. But if that thing, Ishta Dev, our goal, our relationship, our, our spiritual identity, if we don't establish it, then we may go another place. Especially some difficult thing happening. Oh, I cannot stay here because this devotee is not kind to me. That devotee is not kind to me. Or sometimes Guru Dev angry with me. I cannot stay. But if we know relationship with Ishta Deva and also Guru Dev, we fix our goal, then we don't need to go anywhere else. That is uh, interesting point. May I ask you? Sure. Rade, rade. Uh, now, um, you kindly share we should fix our goal and Gurudev also, one point. I totally agree. But from our ignorance, sometimes we have doubt. From my, from our ignorance, is this really bona fide guru? Because his behavior is like this. Or I feel fear with this guru. With other, uh, Vaishnava is more comfortable. I have doubt this teaching because his behavior and this teaching is different from what I see. From our ignorance, sometimes this happens. But still, we should keep only one guru or this feeling come, what we should do at that time. This is my question. Rade, rade.
So, it is difficult to answer because the situation each devotee may different. And uh, Guru Dev's behavior also different. But generally speaking, Guru Dev also say, doubt means Maya. Doubt means Maya. So we have to cut it, cut it down. That is the point. But also, we may have one Diksha Guru, but we may have many Shiksha Guru. That is also possible. So sometimes some Guru Dev, some problem or passed away. At that time, we sometimes take shelter with Shiksha Guru. That's also possible. So each case is different. So it's not, to, it's difficult to answer because according to each case, and made different, but the main thing is uh, doubt is problem because Christianity and Guru Dev all say at first faith is coming. If faith is flinching, if if we lose faith, then we lose hope. If we lose hope, faith, hope, then we have nowhere. We cannot go, go to Prema Prayojana. We cannot attain Prema. So therefore, faith is our base. So therefore, our, our duty is to help uh, help other devotees face become more stronger. That is our duty. We should not help to lose other devotees face. This is a kind of uh, offense as a, another kind of offense. That's I may say. So face is very important. And then how to keep our faith stronger? Because our spiritual advancement depends on our faith. If faith is not there, we cannot do any spiritual advancement. So therefore, I am seeing Guru Dev. Guru Dev is very careful to, to not to lose faith as a devotees always glorifying other devotees and uh, always encouraging. Sometimes many devotees come to Sadhu Maharaj, oh Sadhu Maharaj, please take, you know, please give me initiation, please shake, shake, you know, I want to take shelter of you. And sometimes Gurudev say, go to your Gurudev. I cannot help you. Your Guru Dev will help you. <laughs> this is amazing. Many Guru Dev, okay, 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 oh, come to me. I'll help you. Many people say like this. But Sadhu Maharaj did not say like this. Go to your Guru Dev. <laughs> and glorify another Guru Dev. This is... Uh, Amazing quality of Sadhu Maharaj. So this is, uh, I cannot uh, this give answer properly because each devotee has a different situation. This very personal situation, I can say only kind of basic thing. You want to mm. say, Handakaji? My? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
So, thank you very much. I need to make more clear. I understand it's each case. Then, what? <laughs> How to solve in this case? Some ask others or、uh, just digest in my heart? Go to Gurudev. Just directly Gurudev. Ask go, Gurudev. Go to Gurudev or if possible, go to some other senior devotees. Just ask. Yeah, at first go to Gurudev. This guru they will include the Diksha Guru also? Or、uh, Diksha Guru? Go to Diksha Guru first. And then, if not solved, then go to Diksha Guru. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.